review the LeBron 20 next gen. This is blue tint. It's, you can see that this is mat this material is uh, lightweight stuff. The check marks, the swoosh marks. This is plastic and this is sy synthetic leather. Here you have a very big swoosh mark and the design of this brisk military green color is re reminiscence of the old Lebron shoes. I think the Lebron 2 or the 3, I don't know. And also the, your soles, you have this Akron, insp Akron map inspired soles. So grip wise, it's this is great because of the of the grooves in it and there's no issue here of uh, stones getting stuck so the cons of these shoes is that number one what, what will annoy you is this design it's really, it really looks ugly and uh, I think they use this to stitch this and connect to the soles because this is a very thin material this will cause if this material will use will only be used alone it will, might rip i think this is a strengthening four foot design for this material and actually it annoys me and it doesn't look nice to the shoe next is the uh, shoelaces this is a very ordinary shoelaces and the, of course you're expecting that uh, better shoelaces compared with the other LeBron James shoes and also the material looks plastic it's a reminiscence of the Adidas uh, Derrick Rose shoes the old shoes of Derrick Rose uh, they have the same design and uh, it's, it's thin it's thin so but this is i think durable but uh, i don't know in after two to three years if this might rip rip off so for the looks i could only give this an eight out of ten so here for comfort you have a zoom unit air zoom unit and this is as a word of caution you have to break it in for three days before it molds to your foot you will feel comfortable at first using it causing some pain on the forefoot but after three days it will mold to your to your feet yeah. so this is what i observed with the shoes compared to the previous lebrons which has the best each had the best cushioning and as for the lockdown, uh, they they stayed with their strength, have having this this uh, material, locking this foam here, locking your ankles. It prevents it from slipping. From your the shoe slipping from your foot. Also, uh, the shoes. If you will. Uh, walk this with a in a long distance might you might feel discomfort because compared to the previous lebron 18 lebron shoes they have great cushioning here with the next gen i don't they have i think they downgraded it and you will feel it after a long walk and runs that the your feet will will feel uncomfortable so overall, I I agree this an eight out of ten for comfort because my previous experience with the nineteens, the eighteens, they they have very comfortable cushioning system because of the air unit here and a file I think file on foam here for a zoom unit here. So that's the reality of the shoe. This might feel, make you feel uncomfortable for long runs and walks. For all, uh, I, I agree this an 8 out of 10. 
why 8 out of 10? It's because if you are a fanatic of LeBron shoes, you will feel the difference of the previous models, especially on the cushioning side. This one, I, if you have a Kobe 6, this is similar to Kobe 6 cushioning that they used here. So if that's what, how you will feel if you have if you will be buying this one and uh, looks wise it really it's it's not really that great compared to the previous lebron models that's why uh, of course we're expecting a whole lot from lebron shoes especially the price point although it's cheaper compared to the 20s but uh it's it will re it disappointed me because i was i was expecting a whole lot uh cushioning from the shoes